Today, light aircraft created by Ukrainian aircraft manufacturers are known worldwide. They participate in competitions and are especially bought for flying schools, because flying them is very easy to learn. Private owners buy them for private flights. They are also used for work, in particular for aero photographing during police patrol. Ukrainian light aircraft now fly on every continent except Antarctica. The countries they fly are Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Germany, Belgium, Norway, Finland, Denmark, France, the United Kingdom, Scotland, Italy, Kazakhstan, Iran, China, Kenya, Guinea-Bissau, South Africa, United Arab Emirates, Australia, New Zealand, Chile, Brazil, Panama, Uruguay, the US, Mexico, and Canada. The history of Ukrainian light aircraft begins in the difficult 1990s. All major plants at that time were operating at a loss, as they had no contracts and no money. In that situation, a desperate group of enthusiasts decided to try themselves in the aircraft business. In 1991, a small company started its operation. It was not possible to buy modern Western parts, so they used domestically produced materials. As experience showed, this approach had its advantages. Metal frames allowed to achieve very good flight characteristics. Moreover, unlike Western models entirely made from composite materials, Ukrainian light aircraft made of metal are significantly cheaper in price. Fiberglass and carbon fiber are only used where metal parts will be more expensive. So all the rounded parts are made of carbon fiber, hoods, fuel tanks and dashboards. Everything else is made of metal. According to international norms, lightweight aircraft cannot weigh more than 450 kilograms. Electronics play an important role, both in steering and in weight reduction. These two factors are responsible for navigation, autopilot, radio, engine monitoring and communications inside the aircraft. Each device performs a specific function. One controls the engine, RPM, the other, coolant and oil temperature and pressure. These same devices are used for navigation. They are altimeters, speedometers and variometers, that is, indicators of ascent speed and movement. This entire set of navigation devices is the cheapest option. And this modern electronic device replaces and duplicates all those parts and solves all the steering issues all in one. We should add that all the electronics are connected with wires. Even a small aircraft has about 3 kilometers of wires. To hide them, they are all collected in the so-called main wiring. The cheapest wires are made in Odessa, the most expensive in America. The difference is in the aircraft's thickness intersections and isolation. Also, an individual wiring layout is developed for each plane. There are no standard rules, only specifics for each plane. If necessary, any mechanic can make sense of it. The fact is that the aircraft is relatively easy to repair. The light aircraft are born in this design bureau on such computers. The general view of the plane is on the screen. As professionals say, it's overall geometry. It is necessary to calculate all the main characteristics of the aircraft, from wing surface to vertical and horizontal tails, for all the parts to fit each other in the end. Six people work on the assembly of one plane, led by a chief designer and a technologist, who writes software for machine tools. With the help of special software, every part or device is initially projected in three dimensions. An electronic wind tunnel model was created on the basis of this theory. Wind blowing testing of aircraft was conducted using computer software, which allowed to increase speed by 20 km per hour. The cruising speed of Ukrainian light aircraft is 150 km per hour. It uses regular A95 standard gasoline. Fuel expenditure is like that of an SUV. With two standard 45-liter tanks, the aircraft can fly for six consecutive hours. Even though, according to the norms, the corridor for light aircraft is 1,500 meters of altitude, our plane can fly up to four or even 5,000 kilometers, which is important when flying through and mountains. Snow and frost, as well as high heat, are not a hindrance. The aircraft operates normally in temperatures ranging from plus 50 to minus 50 degrees. Such aircraft does not need a long strip for takeoff. Experiments have been conducted, which showed that the plane takes off and lands on the deck of the ship just fine. There is a lot of competition on the global light aircraft market, but Ukrainian aircraft can withstand it quite easily thanks to two important advantages – low price and high quality. In order to keep the brand, every part has to be of super high quality, so almost all the machine tools of the company are digitally programmed. They also cut, drill and band. That is, they are used in production of 90% of all manufactured parts. This also makes the parts cheaper. After all, modern equipment produces them many times faster. The automated machine can produce the annual normal corners or brackets in a matter of several hours. 
To ensure the reliability of all joints and equipment, the aircraft is assembled twice, once prior to painting and once more a week after it's painted. After the final assembly comes the steering setup. Then the plane goes to designers. Light aircraft are painted without automotive paint. The same is used to paint Mercedes cars. But for aircraft, bright colors are used so they are discernible in the air. Six liters of paint and this aircraft with its aluminum frame will become as yellow as a chicken, but as powerful as a fighter jet. The Ukrainian company produces on average five such aircraft per month, which totals up to 60 a year. The concept of a safe, reliable aircraft for personal use has found its niche of buyers. A pilot from Turkey came to buy the Ukrainian plane. He found the information on the Internet. The price and quality satisfies him. He's taking a test flight before buying the plane. Final preparations. The plane steers to the runway. After fast acceleration, the plane takes off. We did not see the pilot's face. He was too far from us. But it was clear that he enjoyed the flight, because our plane took off and landed three times. Instead of 10 minutes, the test flight lasted half an hour. The only thing left is to wish the airplane Aeropract, made in Ukraine. Proud and confident flying with a cruising speed all the way around the globe.